you're going. Hello, welcome to the FH2000. It is a automatic control gate over here. This is come over here. Now this controls the water flow coming into an irrigation canal. Well, it's very well manufactured here. We've got safety switches, electric motor, which is controlled from inside on a touch screen, done through worm drives. And if we look a bit further down the canal, you'll see an ultrasonic sensor, which is measuring the height of the water going through. So the ultrasonic sensor talks to the computer in here, which we'll have a look at shortly. And the computer in here controls this gate. At the moment, we have about 900 litres a second going through, and it is working within about a half a percent tolerance. Very accurate. We'll now take a walk around in here. It's all green energy. We have solar panels powering it here. About 490 watts. We'll go off into the shed where all the controls are happening. In here is the uh, what we'd call the control room. We have four six volt deep cycle batteries which are being charged from the solar panels. We have a little control system here. We can see now that the solar panels are importing eight amps and the batteries are almost fully charged. We've got here a touch screen which is monitoring everything. We can go through the different selections. We can have a look at what the water restrictions are. At the moment there are no restrictions. It is talking on a Wi-Fi tower at the very top. And that's talking over to another site which is get, gathering all this data which um, ECAN will uh, send us the data on whether the restrictions are on or what percentage the restrictions are on and this will work within those restrictions. Uh, when we dig a bit deeper down, we can have a look at the gate and we can set different limits. We can see here that the water flow is 887 litres a second and the water flow is on a manual entry at the moment set on 900 litres a second. So what we'll do is we'll change this to 500. So it's now closing the gate, so we'll go out and have a look at the gate. and it will turn ever so slightly. We work in 15 second increments because it needs to, the water needs to catch up when it gets to the um, water level sensor. Here we go, we can see now. So we can see the gates lowering itself to the 500 liters a second. Now if there's ever an error, there are the safety switches which will disengage the engine. There's also a circuit breaker in there which if the motor ever becomes overloaded, it will switch itself off. This is now the 15 second break while the water's catching up and bursting back into life. And that is how the FH2000 works.